Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also create parameters in your query criteria that will prompt you to enter in the value, which will then be used as the query criteria value for the query before returning the result set. This is tremendously helpful as it prevents many hours of editing and changing query criteria. Each query with parameters in the criteria becomes more reusable as each time the query is run it will prompt the user to input the parameter values which it will then use as the query criteria. That will then allow you to easily change the results displayed in a single query on the fly when you actually run the parameterized query. So for example, let's say that we had a query that showed the salespeople the total amount of their sales for any given order date. We would need the salesperson, which you can see is a calculated field that we made. Also the sales, which once again is another calculated field that we made using the information in the order details table. We are then going to group each salesperson and sum the sales for each unique grouping in the salesperson column. And now we want to add a little bit of flexibility to our order date. Instead of having to come in and change the criteria based on which year or months that we're pulling, what we can do is we can use a parameter prompt. Now to create a parameter prompt, construct your query as usual and click into the QBE grid underneath the field for which you want to set a criteria parameter. To enter the parameter, type an open bracket followed by what you want the parameter prompt to display. And then a closed bracket. Parameters used in conjunction with other operators and conditions like the between and clause can be extremely helpful. So here I'm actually going to put in two parameters and use the between and clause to pull any order dates between whatever they type in for the first date and whatever they type in for the last date. So when we run this criteria now by running the query, the first parameter value pops up giving us the prompt that we typed in. And then we click OK and then the next parameter prompt and click OK. So here's the sales for the individuals for 98. If I wanted to see 97, I don't have to change the query at all. I just simply rerun it and put in new parameters. and so here's the sales for 97. And every time that you would run that query in the future, you would have to re-enter the parameter values, producing a different result set without ever having to edit the query again. At this point, our query has become much more reusable. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.